one, the only, Tricky Devil! Round two. the pooch. Not anymore. Thanks to you, I'm back to my old self. I'm Flint the Woodcutter, by the way. And I owe you more than words can possibly say. How can I ever repay you? It's funny you should ask. We were hoping that some kind soul might... It would be my pleasure. Why don't you go back to my cabin and put your feet up? I'll have it mended for you in no time flat. <laughs> I was hoping you'd say that. Much obliged. Sorry to have kept you waiting, but I'm happy to announce that the bridge is fixed. In fact, it's even sturdier than ever. You don't hang about, huh? Thanks. You've really helped us out. Now, young fellow. About this vision of me being turned into a dog you saw when you touched that glowing plant. The more I think about it, the more certain I am. What you experienced can only have been the guidance of Yggdrasil. Uh, does that mean anything to you? It's something my dear old granddad told me about when I was a boy. Yggdrasil is the giant floating tree, the center of our world, of course. The source of all life is some god. If the legends are to be believed, each one of its leaves represents a life, and its power preserves the peace and harmony of our realm. The 
growing plant you found in the forest is actually a part of Yggdrasil, a piece of root poking through from beneath. It's said that the World Tree can choose to communicate via her roots, but only with certain very special people. That's what my granddad meant by the guidance of Ig. <laughs> it's all coming back to me now. As a boy, I'd spend hours talking to the silly old thing. But did anything ever happen? Not a bit of it. But you, young man, you're different. You're one of the special ones, chosen by the world tree. And you've got grey hair too. Life just isn't fair. <laughs> so not only are you the luminary, you're also Yggdrasil's favorite little leaf, huh? Some guys have all the luck, I guess. Well, we can't stand around talking about how great you are forever. Come on. Twenty minutes later. cooking your favorite stew. It'll be ready any minute now. You'll be desperate to stuff your face as always, I'm sure. Well, set the table and I'll just give it a last little stir. Whoa! Who are you? And what are you doing in my house? Nonsense are you talking? My boy is six years old. Who do you think you are, waltzing in here and claiming to be someone you're not? Whoever you are, I want you out of my house this instant. Don't make me say it twice. Thank you. 
Hey, Grandad, can I borrow your ladder? The wind blew Gemma's scarf off and now it's stuck up a tree. <laughs> well, we can't be having that now, can we? Let me go and find it for you. Mm -hmm. We don't need the ladder anymore. That nice man over there got my headscarf down for me. He said he was looking for you. Is he a friend of yours? Nope. I've never even seen him before. I think it might be me he's looking for, you know. Why don't you two run along and play and leave us grown-ups to talk? All right. since you were a baby after all. I knew it was you right away. But you don't look too happy, my lad. Care to tell you old Grandad what's on your mind? I see. So, you're from a future where I'm no longer around. Well, well. And King Carnelian went and threw you in the dungeon. And to think I trusted that he'd do right by you. If I'd known how things were going to turn out, I would have told you everything, instead of hiding the truth from you for all those years. But you don't have... If you head east out of the village, you'll come to Cobblestone Falls, as you know. Go there and dig in front of the three-sided rock. Got that? Hmm? The three-sided rock at Cobblestone Falls. You'll know the one I mean. Oh, oh but what a fine figure of a man you've become. I'm so glad I got to see you all grow up. You'll be good now, lad. Don't waste your time bearing grudges. Live life with love in your heart. You always saw me, right? Bye now. Thanks for getting Gemma's headscarf back for her. Come back and play any time you like. <laughs>
you okay? I lost you for a minute there. Not surprising, I guess. I can't believe they do this. And just because you grew up here? What kind of animals are they? Jasper and his goons must have ridden straight here after you got thrown in the dungeons and torched the place. Hey, just now, when you zoned out, the mark on your hand was glowing, and so was the root wrapped around that tree. Was it another one of those visions? Wow. So you... you went back in time and spoke with your granddad and... And yourself? That is seriously weird. Must have been the root here. It must have the power to show you the past. Well, if what your granddad told you was right, then we need to head over to Cobblestone Falls. Where did you say it was? East of the village? Listen, I know this can't be easy, but hanging around here isn't going to do anybody any good.